So healthcare is super broken in the US and in other countries around the world too. But can this blockchain project that's been around our space for three years so far help fix some of the biggest problems plaguing the space? If this topic sounds interesting to you at all, you know what to do, sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. Welcome back to Bitcoin for Beginners. I'm your host, Kevin. And in today's sponsored deep dive video, we're gonna break down the SolveCare platform, tell you what it's about, how it works, the top benefits, how it relates to DeFi, and what does it mean for you as a crypto investor? Now, as always, more disclaimer about the sponsored content down in the description below, so be sure to look at that. And now, let's just take a look at the higher level concept first. Right, healthcare is super inefficient, as we all know. It's expensive, there's a lot of hurdles to access, there's administrative burden for the physicians, healthcare systems can't talk to each other, it's very siloed, patients can't easily get to specialists and access the care that they need. There's all of these problems, right? So what Solve Care wants to do is to improve care coordination, benefits administration, payments, and just generally reduce the cost for everyone across the board, right? They have a very ambitious goal to make healthcare better for everyone. So what is SolveCare? You may be wondering. It's a robust healthcare platform that handles everything, administering benefits, managing payments, etc. right? And they integrate blockchain tech and their own native crypto token called Solve. They're the first company to use cryptocurrency and blockchain for real world payments within their care networks, right? In 2018, this was launched live to over 5,500 physicians in Arizona. And they have real clients like the Arizona Care Network and Boehringer Ingelheim, which is a big pharma company. They've also partnered with Uber Health and Lyft as well to deliver various services. And they're led by star CEO Pradeep Goel, who's been recognized by Goldman Sachs and has worked in the Obama administration on the Medicare and Medicaid programs. Besides Pradeep, other senior team members have also collectively decades worth of experience in healthcare, finance, and technology. This project, SolveCare, is a multi-time award winner by various groups like Blockchain Life, World Blockchain Awards, SSON Impact Awards, beating out other projects and other platforms like IBM's in the process. Super impressive in my book. So enough about that. How does this work, right? First, we can take a look at the clients that they usually serve with this platform. Insurance companies, healthcare administrators, clinics, large employers, and government agencies. Those are common types of clients for self-care. And what self-care really does is to help them establish the care administration networks, right? And so those touch on a lot of different end users per se. You have patients, you have clinicians, you have administrators, those care networks tie all of them together. And within their platform, there are some key components that different entities utilize and interact with. You've got your care wallet for the patients and the providers to hold different cards, which we'll touch on in a bit, and coins. And it really enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions between all the different entities in the ecosystem. For example, scheduling, enrollment, submitting claims, paying bills, and much more. We all have done this before in the healthcare system, so you have a good idea on what all is handled within the wallet. These care cards are specialized apps that developers can build and really just help manage health and well-being for different types of diseases or different high risk groups that can have their own card, for example. They also have a care coin, which is a programmable token meant to be transparent and flexible to manage payments, automate things, etc. Lastly, they have a care protocol, which is just a general set of rules that lets you automate transactions between different parties while coordinating care. And there's also, like I said, a blockchain underneath it all, right? And this is the distributed ledger for all care events to keep all parties in sync in terms of the ground truth. And the smart contracts also define all stakeholder relationships like patient to doctor, patient to insurer, and you can imagine the rest. And their payment tokens also handled by the blockchain for faster and cheaper payments infrastructure. Now, there are two tokens involved in the platform, right? Number one is the CARE coin. This is stable payment currency. 
issued by payers like the insurance companies. And these are backed by their financial holdings, which could be in any fiat currency per se. There's no fixed supply and it's not tradable in the public markets. On the other hand, they do have a platform token called the Solve token. It is ERC-20 and you need to hold this and utilize this to participate and transact on the platform. So you use this to pay the care administration network fees, establishing wallets, purchasing cards, emission of coins, payments using coins, marketplace participation, all of these different actions and activities, you need the Solve token. And so all these big healthcare organizations, they need to purchase Solve in order to operate their care network. There's a fixed supply and it's tradable, so the price is variable. And it's available on major exchanges already at time of shooting, Bittrex, KuCoin, Uniswap, Huobi, etc. And it's currently in the top 200 in terms of overall market cap. If you look at coinmarketcap.com, it's around the 170s currently. And they just need more clients signed, right? And more clients actively using the platform so that there's demand and they have to buy the solve token to increase adoption and potentially increase price. And maybe more token utilities baked in as well. That always helps if you're an investor looking for opportunity and price appreciation or hidden gems that are smaller in terms of market cap. So looking ahead, what are some major updates to be excited for, to look out for as a potential investor? First, they're launching Definitize DeFi for healthcare financing, okay? And so their target market initially is going to be medical device leasing, and users can pay to lease medical devices using Solve, yet another demand source for Solve token. And participants have to stake Solve for one year to mine governance tokens. And I like that because they're learning from what works for other projects to generate demand in the DeFi space and baking some of that in as it makes sense for them. This also decreases the supply of Solve and hence might lead either directly or indirectly to rising prices. That's never guaranteed though, of course, because there might be other macro market movements out of their control. They're also launching the Global Telehealth Exchange soon, hopefully, which allows people to have medical consultations remotely with doctors around the world. You can pay using Solve and buy that easily from within their app. This is a huge opportunity, telehealth, accelerated by COVID, since a lot of people don't want to go into the hospitals, don't want to go into the doctor's office, that might be a breeding ground. And so hence, with its telehealth on the rise, Solve Care and their platform is potentially going towards a gold mine with this. So what are some final thoughts for me, right? This is a really interesting project. I like their team. I like the progress so far. I like their adoption, but of course there can always be more. And they have active usage, which is awesome, but I want to see other huge care networks, huge employers, huge healthcare organizations around the US take advantage of the Solve Care platform and different products that they offer, right? Right now, they're around 175, like I said, in terms of coin market cap ranking. It's definitely under the radar, potentially a hidden gem, and may warrant a closer look for you if you're in the market for that. Like I said, definitely dig deeper into what they're doing with Definitize, with all the new utilities they're baking in for the Solve token. And maybe if you're just in the healthcare industry yourself or healthcare aficionado, like just study it or done some research about it, then this might also be interesting for you to check out. Join their communities down in the description below. I'll leave the links. I'm Kevin. I hope you can smash that like button to support me. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. As always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch y'all next time.